Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about dry weather and keeping your lawn looking as green as possible. And these are just a few things that you can do to make it look nice throughout those dry summer months. Right, so the number one thing that I can recommend to anybody, whether you're a professional gardener, which you will know if you are a professional gardener, or if you do lawn care, which again, you will know because you're in the profession. And if you, even if you're just a normal homeowner who cuts their own grass with a bit of a fly mower or a home-based lawn mower, whatever you guys have got, this is a really, really key tip to you. And I know it sounds funny because it's common sense and everyone should know it, but you'd be amazed at how many people don't know it and still make the same mistake. You're gonna mow your lawn because yes, the lawn will grow a bit slower and you'll get tufty bits and bits that are short, bits that are dry, but you still wanna run over it with your mower. My best advice is do it on a higher setting. You don't wanna be going in too short because all you're gonna do is you're gonna scalp it and you're gonna put the lawn under a lot of stress and it's not gonna look good. Now. I know lawns eventually recover and they come back later on in the year, but you don't want that. If you can prevent that and keep it as healthy as possible throughout the year, then you're not gonna have such a ball ache of a job later on trying to recover the lawn and get it back to normal. So yeah, that's number one. Don't cut it too short. Make sure it's cut at a safe height. Now what I call a safe height is either a higher setting. So if I'm using like my Hater or a Honda or anything like that, I would do it on like a number three. You just gotta be sensible, man. Don't go in too short. I know the temptation is to go really, really short and make it look as short as possible because you think it looks tidy and you won't have to cut it as much. But that's the worst thing you can do. Cut it at a safe height and take our advice because, you know, we've been doing this a long time and we're here to try and help you guys. So a safe height or a slightly higher cut, anything shorter than that is a big so the next thing you guys can do, really simple, if you've got a garden fork, get in there and just stab the ground, get some holes in there, try and aerate it as best as possible. Now, again, if you've got a really, really massive lawn, my best advice for that, if you've got a really, really big lawn, is go and hire an aerator, a big petrol machine, and then go along and properly aerate it and spike it and get some good air into that soil because that's really going to help. If you've got a small garden like my one, then a garden fork is it, it's more than ample. You can just go in, put some holes in, aerate it slightly, and that would be really, really cool. Then you want to be watering, guys. Watering. I'm about to say something which I'm sure some of you won't be aware of. That is the timing. Like, when is the best time to water your lawn? And you might think it might be in the evening when the sun's gone down, but it's actually the worst time to water. And I say the worst time, it's not the worst time. The worst time would be in the middle of the day in the baking sun, that is just a waste of time. But you'd think in the evening when the sun's gone down, it's actually a good time to water your plants. Sometimes guys, it's not, it's not. And for the reason being that the sun's been baking on it all day. So the ground's there really, really warm. You know, it's had time to warm up and it stays warm. And all that water that you're going to put on it in the evening is just going to evaporate because of the amount of warmth that's in the ground. So my best advice would be water it in the morning. And you're thinking, OK, Pete, what time? What time do we need to be watering the plants? So watering the plants, watering the lawn, you want to be getting out there between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. And the reason for that is overnight, the temperatures come down a little bit and it stays nice and cool. During that window of opportunity in the morning when it's nice and cool, you want to be getting the water on the lawn. You want to be getting it on the plants because then it's got time to soak into the plants, soak into the lawn. And it's not going to evaporate as quickly as if you put it on later in the day because the ground at that point hasn't had time to warm up as hot as it will get throughout the middle of the day. So watering in the morning between sort of 5 a.m., 6 a.m., all the way through to sort of 9 a.m., that's a really good window of opportunity to get that water on your plants, get it on your lawn, and you're going to stand half a chance of that water being retained and also more goodness getting back into your lawns and into your root system. So that's a really good little bit of advice there. I only discovered that bit of information a few years ago myself because I always used to make the habit of watering it in the evenings when the sun went down. But I learned this a couple of years ago working with a lawn care guy. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Honestly, it's amazing what you learn. So I would definitely recommend to anybody who's going to be watering their plants, watering their gardens, watering their lawns to make sure you do it in the morning. So again, this is an awesome little tip for you guys. So water butts, they are really, really good to have in a garden. And I know some people do have them already and some people don't have them. I actually don't have one, but I haven't long lived in this house. I only moved in here in November and I just haven't got around to getting one yet. So I will be doing it before long, but I'm going to get a water butt because when we get these dry periods, I can be using all the water stored up from the water butt and all the rain from Mother Nature. Literally, Mother Nature will be watering your garden for free, even during those dry months, because you've been storing it when we've had a bit of a kind of a, a wet spell, you know. Water butts are really, really handy to have. You know, I think we could all benefit from that. You know, I think we could all benefit from using Mother Nature as opposed to using just like regular tap water. Not only that, it's going to save you a little bit of money in the long run as well. So, yeah, just to summarise, 
don't cut your lawns too short, cut them at a safe height and make sure that you water your lawn and water your plants at least three times a week. Gardeners, if you're out there working, stay hydrated, put that sun lotion on, keep drinking water, because you know, it's really tough at the minute, isn't it? Honestly, cutting a safe height and watering are two of the very key things that we can be doing to make a big difference. So before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe to this channel. Can't believe I've just gone over a thousand subscribers, which is like, it's mental, man. I've worked so, so hard on this. A lot of people don't realize how much hard work and effort goes into YouTube and trying to run a garden maintenance business, run a family household and have time to film and edit. It's especially this time of year when it's crazy, you know, it's tough, isn't it? It's really, really hard. But listen, I, I enjoy what I do and I love making the videos. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you people because you know, you guys are the ones that take the time to watch the videos, you you know, you leave comments and I always do my best to reply to every single person that takes the time to comment on my videos. I don't know whether all YouTubers do it or not. I mean, I look at some big YouTubers and um, they don't always reply to everybody. And it does baffle me. And I understand it when you've got, say these big YouTubers that have got like 100,000 subscribers. <sighs> Mate, if they have the time to reply to everyone, I'd take my hat off to them. But I, th I think if I was in that situation, I would. Because remember guys, without subscribers, without people taking the time to watch your videos and leave comments, YouTubers would be nothing. We wouldn't grow without people watching our videos. So, as a content creator, I think it's really important that we give back to the community as well. So massive thank you to everyone who has taken the time to subscribe to the channel. And if you are new and this is your first time here, please go and check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll like them. There's loads of other bits and pieces in there. There's loads more to come. So yeah, if you are new, please subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. Hit the little notification bell. That will tell you when we've uploaded to the channel. And if you get your comments in below, I promise I'll do my best to reply to absolutely everyone who takes the time to watch my video and leave a comment. So, yeah, massive, massive thank you. Wrapping up this video here. Hopefully my tips today have helped you. Very basic, but hopefully it makes a difference. So, anyway, look after yourself and I'll see you real soon. You're awesome. Peace out.